All right, hello. I'm going to do this other video here, talking to you. Hopefully you can hear me. You may not be able to hear me. I don't know. Hopefully you can. Um, just talking to you about what's going on here, and I already made another video addressing it, but I'm going to address it again because... Well, that sounds like a... Uh... <laughs> couldn't pick that up, but, uh, anyway, um, I'm here at Brookhaven Fireman's Park, you can see the pitch pine behind me, um, and I'm continuing, just to let you know, I'm continuing to go through the harassment, uh, online, I'm continuing to go through it, uh, it's continuing to pose as different entities, and then we have this whole other thing going on, and... I have to address it because I'm not happy about it. Um, maybe a colleague of mine feels that it helps, but I don't think it helps at all. And he knows, the colleague knows exactly who he is. Um, trying to get other organizations out there that really have nothing to do with what's going on and trying to claim that they are, you know, I'm just going to say it that way. But I don't need this drama. All right, I got enough crap going on in my life right now. All right, I don't need it. All right, I don't need to deal with it. All right, um, you know, I'm trying my best, and you know, all I've done in here is speak up. All right, that's all I've done this whole time is just speak up for what's happening to Long Island, my only home, all right? I know people aren't going to like what I have to say, but it's my right to say it, all right? There is an element, there is a certain demographic that's trying to take over everything and force us out. That is happening whether you want to see it or not, all right? And we all know how that works, all right? I'm not going to get into the details because you already know it, all right? I mean, just today, um, I, uh, you know, I head out here, and of course, there's no train service, so I have to take the N24. Luckily, it was on time. Had an old bus, an 1827, I think something. Um, and luckily, the driver was fast. Um, and um, made it to Hicksville. Of course, I saw some homeless people at Hicksville, and I get on the train, uh, going there from there to Smithtown. Oh, and here's the thing at Hicksville, they had like five buses parked there. Like coach buses, like I think from Coachman or whatever. Now, if they have five buses parked there, if they have the money to have five buses parked there, there's no reason why they can't be providing shuttle buses for us. But again, it's all part of what I just spoke about a minute ago. All right? It's all part of that. It's all part of the plan to force us out. All right? Um, you all know that. They make our quality of life worse while their own kind gets a good quality of life, gets to avoid most of the crime. And then I'm riding the bus out here, and I see a, a, a homeless person just lying down in the Haven Mall, like in the parking lot. I, I kid you not. I have video of it. I have pictures of it. I don't know if I'm going to share the video. I'll share the pictures of it with you of it. But, again, this is what you get. And you're riding along 25. It's so depressing, you know. Closed stores all over the place. Meanwhile, the South Shore gets everything. They get all the investment. They get taken care of, and we're forgotten. We get all the problems dumped there. Because we're not a certain demographic. And this is what I've been speaking about for the past years years and years about it, especially the past couple of years, all right? Um, and the bullying and the hate. I know they say sticks and stones will break your bones. Words will never. Words do hurt, all right? And the constant... And even some people who, who make good comments just don't understand why I can't work. 
they don't freaking get it. All right? So, not everybody can work. Get it through your head. Look at what I'm going through just with this whole damn YouTube thing. This is just something that, this is something that I would really like to just stop doing altogether. Because I've had enough of it. But at the same time, I see what's going on around me, and I have to speak up, and that's what YouTube is for. Um, I don't want to make this video too long. It'll be five more minutes. It's a ten more, a ten minute video. And yes, it's filmed vertically. You know, I know. Sorry, you know, but it, it's easier actually this way. I think it looks better when I'm doing a video like in front of the camera, just me and you. You know. Um. You know, I, uh, I I just see what's going on. I mean, I see what's going on. You know, I I did go to the Rockville Center fireworks last night. I had a good time. The show was pretty decent. Finale was a little lacking, I think. It was so crowded, though. Oh, my God. And, of course, everybody was just extremely, and I mean extremely obnoxious. They were loud. They spoke during the fireworks show. Uh, constant people in my way. I was not even in the main. I, I actually lost it from another spot that was actually the bridge over the water and I actually got some beautiful pictures at least. I had a good time. I'm glad I went. I was reminded of what I dealt with the last time I went because it is the South Shore and you know the way those people are. So again, but they get everything their way. Everybody wants to be with them. And yeah, I'm going to be there later today once again because I don't want to see the homeless people. I don't want to see the drug addicts. I don't want to see the criminals. I don't want to see the closed stores. I have to pick between that or dealing with those kind of people. And I guess I have to deal with those kind of people. But they don't want me to live there. They, it's bad enough they're trying to... They don't even want me going down there. All right? You know? You know, I've been teased my whole life because of my disability. I've been teased because I've been different my whole life. And here I am, an adult, and this crap is still continuing. It's just unbelievable. And there are a lot of immature people around me. All right? So... I just, I'm under a lot of stress. I'm nervous. I'm worried about the future. Every time I come here, this beautiful Fireman's Park, I wonder, how much longer am I going to be able to do this? How much longer am I going to be able to because they may take away my bus to get here. They may, they may, um, it may get too dangerous where I'm living and I'm not going to be able to find a safe place to live on Long Island. And then I'm going to have to go leave, which is exactly what they want. They want me to shut up and go live in New Jersey. We already know that already. So, and by the way, that sound you hear is the range. There's a gun range about a mile that way. But it sounds like fireworks almost. It almost sounds like fireworks. But, um, again, where they're trying to get rid of us. They're trying to force us out. All these things that you see going on, the crime, there's been a lot of crime in the city, some of it spills over here. They want to force us out. Hulko wants to force us out. And then Lee Zeldin, he's a Trumper. So you're stuck between a rock and a hard place. What are you supposed to do? Neither one of them is really going to be looking out for people like us. That's the reality of it. I mean, Curran, look at Nassau County, Laura. Curran didn't look out for us. Um, Bruce Blakeman is not looking out for us. Uh, doesn't matter. They're all looking out for those people. It's all you put on TV. It's all geared to them, especially South Shore 12. No, I don't hate those people. But what I do hate is the fact that they use their power, their money, and their connections with Wall Street to get the best for their own kind while keeping others out of their towns. That's what pisses me off. All right? So I'm going to sit here and enjoy the rest of this day. I spend way too much time on this damn YouTube stuff as it is. And I really wish I, I really don't want to be involved in it anymore, but I feel like I have to because there aren't enough people out there speaking up. And But it's very hard on me emotionally to keep doing this. Um, it's getting very, very difficult for me to keep keep doing this YouTube stuff anymore. Uh, I got to tell you, it really is. Um, and if uh, if this, this harassment continues to get worse and it doesn't get better, I'm out of here. I'm not going to deal with it anymore. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, I've done what I could do, but the thing that keeps me here is 
speaking out of what's going on. Of course, speaking out for the Pine Barrens, because nobody else really does a good job speaking out for the Pine Barrens. All right? Um, um, and uh, nobody else covers the Pine Barrens like I cover the Pine Barrens. All right? So I think that's it. This video is 10 minutes. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this day. But I figured I'd share with you what I'm going through uh, and, and, and just... Just the heartache and heartbreak that I continue to deal with uh, from this hate that is directed toward me just for speaking out. Just for being somebody who's disabled, who can't work, speaking out against things he sees wrong. Uh, they think it's a crime. I think it's my right. And I'm going to keep trying to do that. Uh, but again, it's getting hard. Anyway, I'm going to get back to my day here, relaxing here in the Pines. Have a good day.